Coming up on today's show, Augie's bobblehead has gone missing and we'll see if we can find it. Kurt Warner wears a pink sparkly jersey. And Steve Nash is becoming a doctor. Plus, is the Madden curse for real? Troy Polamalu just became a believer. All that and much more coming up on The Rundown. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Rundown here on Fanster.com. I'm Greg Esposito alongside Matt Blake and plenty to talk about in the week that was in Phoenix sports. And we're going to start off with, I'm not even going to introduce Matt. We've got so much to get to. You know what, and I didn't even edition. bother to interrupt you this time. So, you know, oh. I, I think we have a good show today. So let's just get to it. We'll get into it. Hagio, oh, I, I, the Diamondbacks have a, I have a bit of an issue. 25,000 Aggie Ojeda bobbleheads, which were supposed to be given away on the September 12th game against the Milwaukee Brewers, have gone missing. Uh, not really missing, but they're not going to be at the stadium on September 12th due to a typhoon that happened uh, near In China. China. Yes. So uh, the Diamondbacks have started a Where is Augie promotion uh, where they're asking fans to Photoshop in pictures of the Augie Ojeda bobblehead in numerous different locales, some, some good ones. Uh, also, fans in attendance won't get an actual bobblehead. They'll get a voucher. I, I think it's kind of funny, kind of a fitting yeah. way to wrap up the well, season. Well, I mean, I think, it's a, I think it's a brilliant marketing campaign for the D-backs <laughs> because at the very least, you know, they make things interesting. You know, bobblehead nights are always fun, and then you put further emphasis on it, and where the heck is Augie? And, you know, some of the Photoshop jobs, not so great. Some of the places, interesting, but let's see where he's shown up so far. He has shown up in uh, Egypt visiting uh, the Great Sphinx near the pyramids. He's shown up... Uh, he's shown up at the Eiffel Tower. He's shown up at the Great Wall of China. So where will he show up next? Uh, let's come up with some of our own. I, I was just disappointed. A lot of generic things. I was hoping yeah. that he'd show up at the, you know, today I'm the luckiest man in the world speech at Yankee Stadium or, you know, just random historical things, shaking JFK's hand. When I, when I saw this, I thought, uh, you know, the scenes in uh, Forrest Gump where they edited him into a lot of... Uh, historical things in, yes. in, in American history. I thought more of that. I haven't seen a lot of that. See, from the, see I wasn't the thinking fans. that angle. I was thinking more current events, you know, helping out uh, in Africa and, and curing world hunger and maybe perhaps fighting the war in Afghanistan, you know, in the front lines, helping out with the soldiers there, especially on uh, today being September 11th, although you may be watching this video you know, on any day. So, uh, you know, I, I expected Augie to be in more current event type places, you know, uh, maybe in North Korea doing something, trying to, <laughs> trying to save those, Kim trying, to, trying to save the, uh, the journalist and bring him back to the U.S. or something. So uh, that was the more the direction I was thinking. I, know. I, I was thinking maybe they could Photoshop him in as the manager of the Diamondbacks because really what better uh, kind of thing than a bobblehead to be uh, all Ooh, for, that's you a know, tough shot there. Uh, to, to be all for the uh, organizational advocacy. Uh, he's a yes man. You know, all you have to do, hit the head and it's it's yes. Constantly. I don't think A.J. Hinch is going to like you for that one, but uh, <laughs> I, I forgive you. So that's good. Let's move on to the second topic of the day. Uh, Kurt Warner is apparently going to star in an episode of the Disney Channel Sweet Life on Deck. Uh, Warner will actually star as himself, but the problem with this whole starring thing is he is in a pink jersey and we managed to find uh, a little I don't know if you caught a clip or a photo of him in his pink jersey and it Kurt it just it doesn't look good uh, my, my problem with the whole thing was I didn't know they moved on from the sweet life of Zach and Cody to sweet life on deck so my TiVo's all messed up I, I'm not gonna have well, the Kurt Warner you know, episode on my TiVo. I gotta get that. I gotta get that fixed. And Kurt does look ridiculous. But I it's don't... not his fault because in the episode, it turns out that a rich heiress actually uh, purchased Warner's team, which would be the Cardinals, and renames it the Sparkles. So we can't blame him for that. We can, I can blame. I can blame the him writers for that. for that. I can blame him for that. He let himself get put yeah. in a pink sparkly jersey. Well, I guess he why did not? it. He did it from what I read because He's his daughter's a, a fan of the show. Yes, exactly. He wanted to. Wanted to do. His youngest daughter's a fan of the show. Wanted to. Wanted to do something nice for her and go on the show, but, but man, Kurt, pink sparkly jersey isn't your look. That and the shoulder pads they found for Kurt, he looks more like Herman Munster than an NFL quarterback in it. Yeah. I, it's pretty entertaining. Check out the visual here. I, it's just, it's, it's stick, with, stick with Cardinal Red, Kurt. Yes. That's all we're saying. That is all we're saying. And now I feel like I'm like Ryan Seacrest commenting on red carpet outfits or something let's get what can you do oh. it, you know it's bound to happen from time to time let's let's get away from that into something a little more manly i guess the fact that steve nash will be uh getting an honorary degree from the university of victoria in canada in two weeks uh on september 18th 
honorary doctorate in law. So I don't know if he's going to become his own agent since he's going to be a doctor in law. But uh, an interesting little tidbit. Yeah, no, it is very interesting. It's interesting that they actually gave it to him in law, though. I'm, uh, it's not that. It's not that far fetched. He's on the, he's on the court all the time. So you know. Well, that's you know, that's the one thing I don't get. I you know I understand honorary doctorates. You're trying to you know, you're trying to I guess give back to uh, celebrities or athletes or people who have given back to you in the community. So I understand honorary doctorates, but. Why law? Is it just the law department decided it, or or was it? Well, uh, maybe that's the the highest degree they have at the University of Victoria. I don't know. I haven't I looked know. into their class well, catalog. Well, we know I that Steve know. Nash is good at everything he does, from basketball on the court to soccer to uh, to being a producer of videos. So I imagine he would be a, a very good lawyer as well. I, I don't know the the honorary doctorate. I, I I understand you want to show respect. I heard that uh, President Crow at ASU uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't do this for for. Uh, Steve Nash. He hadn't accomplished <laughs> enough yet in his career and uh, to do that. So, I but, agree. But the, the University of Victoria just not, means nothing. The University of Victoria steps up and and Nash is uh, hometown of Canada and uh, he, he's a doctor now. So uh, you'll be calling him Doctor Nash this season. So. Yes, and and lastly on the rundown here, uh, the Madden curse is real, and Troy Polamalu <laughs> uh, can speak to that. He left uh, last night's season opener with a knee injury, and early reports have him out three to six weeks. So uh, I guess the real concern here is: should Larry Fitzgerald be worried, and should uh, Cardinals fans be worried about this Madden curse? The real question is over under how many games is Larry Fitzgerald going to miss? Because it's almost a foregone conclusion. Nine of the twelve guys who have appeared on Madden since they. They've actually put players on the cover, have either missed significant yeah. time during the season or had their production drop off to a career low. I mean, we're talking about uh, Donovan McNabb, sports hernia. Garrison Hurst fell off the face of the planet after he was on the cover Didn't of Madden. Happen to like, Sean literally, Alexander he just too. disappeared. Sean Alexander breaks his foot, is never the same. I, I, it's just, uh, you know, a, a lot of guys, uh, Dante Culpepper, same thing when he was with the Vikings. Uh, on the cover, gets hurt, misses four games. The Vikings don't play the same. His career has never been the same. So maybe maybe the Cardinals dodge a bullet and, and Larry Fitzgerald is, is spared because the curse has already taken down one player this yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, that was my thought. Is there, There's two players on the cover this year, so uh, I think that's helpful in kind of spreading out the, uh, spreading out the risk there. And I think that Fitz, hopefully... Uh, will have an injury-free season because the Cardinals need him, and uh, especially with Anquan Bolden having his uh, sore hamstring issues and Steve Bressman coming off of uh, some injuries as well. So the Cardinals definitely need all the receivers intact right now. I don't know. I'm not a, a firm believer in curses. I, you Me know, neither. Me I, neither. Sure, the, the Red Sox, they were cursed. The uh, the Cubs, they're cursed by the GOAT. Curses are all you mental, know, that's it. I, I, I don't know. There's maybe some credence to it. Obviously, there's something going on. A lot of guys yeah, get get injured uh, and I, I don't know it just comes the, down to the fact that football is a game in which every single game. player is going to get injured at some exactly. point in their career and it's going to be they're going to have major injuries they're going to have minor injuries dings and and dents and that's just the way that football goes and I think that it's not a Madden curse it's just the game you could you could randomly choose anyone to put on the cover and it would happen to one because football players get injured well heck Larry Fitzgerald helped the Cardinals break one curse and uh having success in in their division and in the playoffs last year. So hopefully he can break this curse. It won't be an issue. And uh, he can continue, continue that, uh, hopefully, Hall of Fame career he's got going on so far. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, next week we'll get back to our uh, odd tweets of the week. We'll we do will. some more digging on that. This week's a little bit of a short week. You know, Labor Day, four days. You we were lazy, okay, people? We were yeah. lazy. We, we, we had four days this week, and we didn't dig up those tweets and our things Sorry. that got cut from the show it was actually it was actually the tweet. The show. actually yeah the, the <laughs> things that got cut were the things that got cut so that is pretty much everything thing here on the rundown for this week uh i'm greg esposito he's matt, matt blake. blake i almost said it opposite but join us next week for another edition of the rundown right here on fancier.com